Hi guys, Carrie Kitty here. I really wanted to make this video for you guys for a while, and I've pushed it off, and I'm so sorry, but here it is, finally. It was supposed to be short, it is not short, I am sorry, but I really hope it helps you with your roofing game in The Sims. That's all I've really got to say, so let's just get started. Alright, so I have built us a couple boxes here, that, because I really wanted to give you the power to be able to really step up your game with your builds, and become a confident builder. So I'm going to start with this one on the this little weird looking um, upside down T here because I feel like this one, a lot of people who build cottages might find this one really fun. So this is actually going to be an A-frame build. Um, this is really small upstairs, not super usable, but it's more there for the height. Um, you don't have to do it. You could if you really wanted to just do uh, just do this. Um, and then, you know, it's essentially the same thing that we're going to do with three pieces of roof. Difference being when you do it this way, you can't actually technically use this space. Um, whereas with this one, you can. And with this one, you could also, if you wanted to do um, bump out roofs, you could add in little dormers into your roof. So well, the cool part of this one is, so let's do here, let's put on a roof. Okay, we put on a roof and we actually have cute little dormers, which I really love. Um, and then we're going to duplicate that and we're going to put another one on the side here. So this roof is called the half gabled roof. And what I did to duplicate it was I pressed the two squares, two squares to copy it and I moved it. Um, uh, now for deleting it, you can either set it down, grab the hammer and delete it, or you can um, simply have it selected and press the delete button on your keyboard. So now that we have um, now that we have the sides on the roof, we want to add the top. So we're going to use the gabled roof. We're going to put that on here. We're going to make it two tiles across. We're going to pull the length of the roof. And now we have this upper space that can be used. Now what I'm going to do for these ones, we're going to put on the same gabled roof. We're just going to shorten it. So now we have our two gabled roofs. So what I did here was, um, so I copied it like the last one, but then I didn't like that this little back piece of the roof stuck out. What happens is it's got an overhang on it, and I didn't like that overhang because it stuck out past our peak of our roof on our main part of our house. So what I did was I clicked on, so these arrows here, these drag your um, overhangs. You can drag them out as far as you'd like, and it drags them out symmetrically, so it drags them out on both sides. Now. I didn't want to do it on both sides. I wanted it to be on one side. So what I did was I held down the shift key and then you can drag just one side at a time. So I pulled that one side in so I didn't have any overhang. And then when we put it on the roof, now there's nothing that clips through. So again, just to show you, so you can click the arrow, you pull it through. This is what it looked like before I did that. I didn't like it. So I clicked on the overhang and I held shift and I pulled the overhang back in. So now we're partway there in our A-frame, but you know what? I really want the roof to come to the ground. So what we do, click on this guy here, we'll duplicate him, we'll stick him on the ground, and we'll do it again on the other side. Okay, so now we've got a really cute A-frame cabin. So you know that you can click on a roof and you can drag the ball up, you can drag the ball down, right? You can change the different angles of your roof. Did you know? Uh, by the way, I pressed Control Z or Control Z, and that undoes, undoes, that undoes um, the previous step. So now, um, what you can actually do on your keyboard: hold Shift and press C. Shift C, C for cat. And now, if you've noticed here, you have four little ball options instead of one. So I'll go back. So Shift C, you go from one, Shift C to four. Now you can actually curve this part down here curve this part up here and then now here's the tricky part so we've made this really cool we've made this really cool roof here but now our roofs clip into each other remember that trick that i taught you where you hold shift hold shift pull the top roof in and that fixes that problem now you don't have now you don't have overlapping clipping roof right here we want to click on this top piece of our roof and same thing again so shift c so now let's drag this one here down a little bit. And again, see, we're having the same issue. So shift C, pull that roof trim in. And now we don't have that problem up here with it lining up properly. And 
again, it really doesn't want me to show you too well but there. So now you don't have that problem here with the roof pieces not meeting and not lining up. Now I want this to have a little bit more of a curve. So let's curve it out a bit. Let's make the roof here a little curvier. There we go. And see how on this side the roof sticks up, but on this side it doesn't. That's because we used the shift and pull. Now with this specific roof, no, we don't have to shift. We can just pull both sides in. But maybe you're doing something different on each side. Maybe you want the tail on one side and you don't want it on the other. That's where the shift really comes in handy. Then we'll go down to the bottom piece here. We will pull this piece of the roof in again. Get rid of that. See how much that cuts off? Like that was that was a really long piece of overhang that we just got rid of. The longer you, the more you curve your roof, the longer your overhangs are. Um, and then we'll go into this one. We will shift C. And let's do, make it really curvy. Let's make it really, really curved. So we're gonna pull this down here, get rid of that. All right, look at that. The neat thing too with doing the upstairs like this is that, um, so I press page up and page down and home and end to go up my levels. So I press um, page down to go between floors and I press home to give me um, flat, cutout, or full walls. So a cool thing that you can do now, now keep in mind that whatever color you paint these roof pieces, the inside will be as well. But you could actually have this space here be living space for your Sims. You could, but you put a doorway into there. We'll go end. Look at this. Now you have this space here where you could put your bathroom in here. So you put your toilet and your shower and everything along the tallest part of the wall. And then on this side here as well, we can just delete these and have a little more open space. But still really neat, a nice little way to add some space. Um, so that is that roof there. And I've seen people just have some issues with, is this little bay window here. Bay windows kind of suck. Um, they're beautiful, but until you know how to roof them, they're like the bane of your existence. I mean, yeah, sure. You could put on one of these and you can just have it go across the whole thing and just overhang and it, nobody has to know, right? Oh, come on. You went to the effort of building this beautiful bay window. Let's go to the effort of putting the roof on it. Okay. So my one, one thing with this is that it has to be two across the front. You cannot do this where it's one wide. I don't really understand why it causes an issue, but it does. So we'll just, um, just for fun, I'll build this little thing here to explain that further. Okay. Right, so I'm going to show you how to properly roof it, and then I'll show you why it doesn't work on this. So to roof this, you want to take the half hip roof on the diagonal. Very important on the diagonal, very important piece to use. Place it here. You want to shorten it a bit so it doesn't stick out. Okay. Note here that this piece of roof, the flat part, is facing the center of the bay window. Okay? So you have a slope on the outside, flat facing center. Very important. Now, press your copy button, rotate it with whatever how are you feeling like rotating? If you're if you're a person who drops and clicks, perfect. If you're a person who uses your um, your carrot brackets on your keyboard, uh, press one of those and rotate it. So now you want to do the same thing as this one and you want the flat part facing in. For the middle piece, you just want to use a hipped roof and just make it two tiles wide. Build it in, there you go. Bay window, nice and roofed, beautiful. Okay, here's why it's not going to work on a single tile. Okay. These roof pieces, they overlap each other. See? They overlap each other. If I take this guy out, they overlap without any issues. But when you try and do it for some reason here, it doesn't let you do it. I think it's because they're too close together and they can only line up when it's the peak of them lining up. So see when we do it on this side here, see how it's the peak of the roof that's meeting? But when we do it on this side here, it has now become, it's not the peak that's meeting. The two roofs are intersecting at a weird point in the roof. And I think that's why there's the issue because it just doesn't work. So if you want this to work, if you want to be successful in your bay windows, you have to do them too wide across the front. Next. Um, so the next part that I like to do is so when you're doing a roof and you have like a deck like this, it's really difficult to put a roof on when you 
it's really hard to put a roof on. Like I want to put the roof on top of this deck, but I can't. It won't let me put it up there. So this is where you want to make sure your grid is on. If you build with your grid off, it needs to be on for certain parts of roofing, and this is one of them. So to toggle your grid on and off, you're going to press G for on or G to turn the roof off. Um, now I am on the second floor, so I need to go page down or down a level. Um, the way you normally go down a level, then you'd want to place this down. So what roof I'm using here to cover this deck, this is specifically Victorian that I'm building, but this kind of works for pretty much all decks um, that are wraparound like this. You could use, you could really make it tricky for yourself and you could do a roof like this and then put on a roof like this and then pull this roof down, pull this roof across and then make this one line up with that one really try in here um, and then you're gonna make this one line up with that one and then you're gonna duplicate it again on this side and then you're gonna make it line up on this side because uh, listen that's a pain don't do it I mean you can do it feel free to do it but I promise you this is much easier so you want to make this at the same depth you can make it longer if you want to um, for the sake of this tutorial I'm making this the same depth as my deck Then you want to pull it across okay and are you ready we're gonna pull it across now the purpose of doing it this way is so the peak is inside the house. Now you drop it right down and now you have a deck. Now personally for myself, I don't like that this here has this corner where it slopes down. That's because if it was real and there was rainwater, the rain would slope down and sit against the house and that's a big no-no. So we're just going to make it a little bigger. Now it's perfect, the corner lines up with the corner here um, and this just goes right across the house. Now we'll go up a floor. What I generally find with these ones is that it looks nice to have a peaked roof above the bay window section or just above part of it, and then to have the, sorry, I call it a peaked roof, it's a gabled roof, and then to have a hipped roof across the rest of it. Like that. Now, um, you've got overhang here, so we want to fix that. We're going to pull the corner arrow down, and now the whole roof has overhang. And then, now I'm looking at this build. And while I really do love it, and I bet you it would be a beautiful pink Victorian if I wanted to pink Victorian. Um, beautiful pink Victorian. Maybe, maybe not with the, the uh, wood windows. Might have to put white windows in to make that a little, a little more realistic. Um, okay, do I want this to be a wraparound deck? Or do I want this to be... Maybe I want it to meet a room that sticks out from the house. So we're going to add on another room downstairs here. And we're going to add on another uh, second floor of it. We're just going to bump the house out a bit. So for this section, there's two options. I could grab this, I could duplicate it, I could turn it, and I could put it on here, and then I have a roof. My other option is I can go to the roofs, I can go to the half-hipped roof, and I can put on a half-hip. Personally, I go with the half-hipped because I like the look where it, it doesn't like me. I like the look where it has a flat on the side. And then we can just add on some more of our pink here, and there. We can add a couple pillars in the front. That will make this a beautiful, if I could find a pillar that I like. Um, this makes us a beautiful Victorian. So to change that color, um, this is another video of mine that I will link down below and also up here. But um, in order to change the colors easily, I actually just press the plus and minus on my keyboard. Um, uh, we're going to duplicate. You can also hold shift on your keyboard as well to do that, and we'll throw in another one here. And then we want to throw on a little bit of trim. Make it really... There we go. Okay. Now, we're going to pull this out a little bit to overhang. You don't have to, obviously. Uh, I just wanted to. But what I wanted to show you is that sometimes when you're doing a roof section like this, and you're doing like a trim around the house. So let's say... I gotta go another house to show you this. So there comes times when you are... Goodbye. Goodbye, my beautiful little cabin. Okay. There comes some times where you want to... You're building a house and you're putting on um, some trim. Right, I tend to build my houses that are shaped like an L. And then put like a cardboard on them. Like always. Um, okay. So we're gonna do that. And then this is a pretty simple one to roof. Um, I always... I like to leave it so I do need to add a roof onto my second... Like, I, I like to have a little bit of roof on my first story before it goes up to my second story, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like to have just, like, a full square for my first story. I really like it to be a full, like, separation. I like it to have a separation. That's the word. So, with this style of roof, I mean, this works. This looks fine. It matches up. It lines up. Everything, everything's good. You do want your roof lines to match up a little bit, so we do want to up that height a bit. So now this this roof um, meets this roof. They're not at different heights, and I'm just going to pull this so it's tucked into it. So 
and now it's smooth across here they're not at different heights so sometimes um again this is where your your arrow comes in handy so hold shift pull them back in and now your roof doesn't overhang okay so right now this looks great now say i didn't want to use this roof say i wanted to use this style of roof to go this way here's a problem now i've got this like piece of roofing that overhangs here but if i pull this back it sits out weird if i pull it forward and then pull in this overhang now i've got half the house with no overhang so a solution for this is to shorten your roof shorten your roof copy it put another roof behind it shift pull that side of that that side of that up and then pull this side's overhang in there's always going to be a little tiny bit here there's really nothing you can do about that so now you have this pretty simple house here but what if you wanted to put on trim if you are someone who really i'm going to pull this out a little bit just for the effects so that you understand better okay i'm going to put on a brick for the lower half of our house and also apparently the upper because i can't not um, and then for the upper half of the house we are going to put on the other half of the house we're just going to go with this because we don't want brick on the whole house okay perfect so now you want to put on a trim in the middle because you don't like that the roof just meets right and it's weird you want to put on a trim which is perfectly fine you can't add the trim to this roof you can't do it, it there's nothing you can do to add this roof, roof trim on what you can do go down to your walls down okay walls are down you're looking at the second story with the walls down perfect Go into your walls and empty rooms click on flat square so we know that this is a two or a two by four we want to make this a two by four really you just want it to be smaller to start with you can make it bigger when you get it there but you just want it to be smaller to start with place it down now go back to your roof up everything on view turn your grid off leave your grid on whatever works for you now you want to take your trim again back to your trim go back to your trim and you can bam now you can have trim also looks really nice for this roof here. We're gonna go page down, we're gonna go, and we're gonna go up back to here. We're gonna press our grid button, and then we're gonna do the same thing again. So we are going to lay this piece down, and for this one, I'm just gonna, instead of shaping the whole thing on the ground, I'm just gonna make it skinnier, place it up top, pull it out, and then pull it across the length. Now, there's a roof for this area. Now I can go page up, put my roof back, again, like, you can press your buttons over here. You can do whatever makes you more comfortable. I'm going to turn my grid off because I'm really bad at building with it. But see, now you have this trim here. Now, if you wanted to, you could put on any trim you wanted here, right? You don't have to put, you don't have to put a nice small one in. If you really wanted to, you could put a nice fancy trim there. Um, you can do whatever floats your boat, really. Who knows? I mean, maybe you're, maybe this is, you know, maybe you want this nice trim that looks thick from the side maybe you don't maybe you want a different trim maybe you want just a nice thin little trim but it looks nice because now you actually have a ceiling you don't just have a roof that goes into nowhere one more thing that i wanted to show you really quickly before we are done okay so i don't know about you i'm not really a fan of when my of when things especially when roofing i really like it when my roof pieces meet up i'm not really a fan of things freely moving about when I'm roofing because I want to know that I move this up a click and I can move this up a click but sometimes it can come in really handy like say if these are the same height right and you want to move this down just a little bit what you can do is just like you when you're moving free placing items holding the alt key works with roofing as well so hold the alt key pull up and you can literally move this as freely as you'd like it goes up as much as you want as little as you want and really neat so like here like i was saying with this roof how it sticks up just a bit you can actually just like free move it down to like just where you want it but that's definitely something that like you really could use in a ton of situations where you want to move your roof just a little bit you don't want to do it by the full clickable amounts you can press alt to move your roof freely up and down pretty cool anyway that was all that i had for you guys today thank you so much for being here i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope you learned something and I hope you'll come back for the next one that I make. What that's going to be, I don't know. If you have any suggestions, please throw them down in the comments below. I would love to hear about what it is that you are struggling with in the game and what I can help you with. That being said, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And 
I will see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye for now.